Hello gamers, I'm Grimly and this is my guide on One Hand Spear for Corrupted Dungeons. One Hand Spear is very strong with a balance of mobility, damage and sustain. Playing Spear takes a lot of knowledge about matchups, kiting and ability interactions as well as clever decision making, all of which I will cover in detail. Let's start with the build. On Spear, always use Q1. Q2 is only for two hand spears. For W in PvE, use W1 for high DPS. In PvP, most of the time, use Deflecting Spin. However, against Bow or Frost, use Harpoon. And in some matchups, Impaler is a good option. For example, against Firestaff using Q1, use Impaler. For passive, in PvP, always use Life Leech, and in PvE, you can use Damage Passive. For offhand, use Taproot. HP is always nice. For a cheaper option, you can use Mistcaller. And if you use Mistcaller, swap omelets to beef sandwiches. However, this will result in 5% less CDR in Stalker Dungeon. So I recommend using Taproot and Omelet if you can afford it. The reason we use Omelets for this build and not Eel Stew or Roasted Pure Mist Snapper is because ref Deflecting Spin is Reflect, so it will not scale with any damage amplifier or lifesteal. Also, the extra CDR from Omelets helps a lot against Bow and Frost, which are very common in Corrupted Dungeons. For Head, use either Guardian Helmet or Hunter Hood for a defensive option. In my opinion, Guardian Helmet is stronger because it has 15 seconds less cooldown. Use the first passive. For Chest Piece, use Mistwalker Jacket. For a cheap option, you can use Assassin Jacket, but Mistwalker Jacket is much, much stronger. Uh, since you are immune to everything and can dip in and out of the effect to deal damage, it also lets you go through the traps. CC abilities such as Firewall, Chill How E, and Frost Shot. Only use jacket, uh, Assassin Jacket if you're poor. And take the first passive. For boots, use Plate Boots always with the Healing Sprint. This is the most value of any boot spell. And take the defense passive. For Cape, use Thetford Cape for consistent damage. And also to get good trades in between Deflecting Spin and Kiting. And for potions, use healing pots. Geek potions are less effective since most of the time we want to either stall the fight out with W or kite with E. So healing potions are generally better. Okay, let's get into some gameplay and I will explain every matchup in detail. Okay, starting off we have regular bow. So against regular bow, you want to take harpoon and inferno shield. You want to start the fight with harpoon and inferno shield. And when they frost shot away, you can use E to chase. And when they sprint, you can use sprint to chase. Frost shot has about the same cooldown as our E, so you can basically always follow up the frost shot without E. And then we just want to stay close, try and dodge Qs, put in Qs and autos, and harpoon whenever we can. So here we have another bow matchup. This time I'm using Miss Walker Jacket. It's actually a lot better if I miss Walker Jacket right now, but for some reason I use my Guardian Helmet and I get hit by the lava, I think, twice. But even if you make a mistake, you can still win the fight since we have a lot of cooldown reduction and we can heal a lot from our Spear Passive. I'm just staying close, getting as much damage in from my autos as possible, and my E comes off cooldown, so I'm able to finish him. Here we have another bow matchup. This guy's using Hellion Hood. So I swap to the usual abilities. And I'm going to open with Harpoon. After Harpoon, you can always guarantee a Q if you just cast right away. And chase his Frost Shot with my E, and chase his Sprint with my Sprint. So here he used his E and his E roll which gives him more stacks so he's actually out of stacks on his E. If I hadn't noticed that I would have saved my E since he's not doing much damage but I accidentally made a mistake and wasted my E. But it's all good because I have enough cooldown reduction to chase him and he can't reset so I just sprint after him and I didn't want to use my harpoon at first because my E's coming off cooldown so I'm going to start with an E so I can stay close and queue him to slow. And Harpoon to finish him off. Alright, next up we have Badombo. This time I'm using Mistwalker Jacket because I can use Mistwalker Jacket to dodge his E. 
or block a lot of the damage from his E. <clears throat> and we're going to start with Harpoon. So here my E was actually on cooldown, so I couldn't chase his Frost Shot with my E. So I just chased his Frost Shot with my Sprint, which is all good. And then here I used my Miss Walker Jacket to dodge some of his E damage. Probably wasn't necessary though. Use Harpoon, dodge his E. Fortunately, he can just frost shot and run away, but that's okay. I can chase with high cooldown rate. Luckily, my W catches his because he tried to Q while his Miss Walker Jacket was active, so he came out of an invincibility. Some more chasing. Yeah, we're fighting Chill House, so we wanted to swap to Harpoon. And we can use Miss Walker Jacket when he E's. We can also E when he E's, which will dodge the stun from his E, since the stun from his E has a delay. So here I Miss Walker Jacket when he E's to dodge the stun. Chase his sprint with sprint. I didn't really need to use E there. Could have saved it and just queued him to slow. That's okay. Starting off with a high HP advantage because we played well. Using my W to cancel his cow and uh, his robe fortunately i can't dodge his e but that's okay i just chase with my e after and he got away so i had to yeah he was able to reset so here i'm just trying to dodge his q's while he makes some distance i'm able to get close because he hits the treasure but he dodges my w with his w which is okay i luckily dodge his e with my e Sprint to stay close. And a nice W. Touch his E with my E. Q him to slow. And I didn't want to risk using my W here. If he dodges it, then he might be able to escape. So I just sprint towards him. And after he wastes his W, then I can use my W. Nice kill. And here we have Death Givers. <clears throat> Quick thing to note, he's using the uh, debuff Q. So when his debuff Q hits three stacks, I need to make sure I try to either make distance or use my defensive. And when he miss Walker Jackets, uh, when he Mercenary Jackets, I want to miss Walker Jacket. So here I just use W to Flex some damage and E to kite. So here, when he hit three stacks on his Q, I used my helmet immediately to block his E. And then I saw that he used Mercenary Jacket, so he's very red, which means he used Mercenary Jacket. And he's going to E me again, and then I want to Miss Walker Jacket so that he can't heal off his Mercenary Jacket. And even though I have HP disadvantage, he doesn't have his cooldowns ready, so I'm able to keep my Q stacks high. Land more Qs, deflecting spin his Qs, and here he hits three stacks on his Q, so I just E away, and then now I'm just gonna kite with my Q and W. So he's unable to do anything, and the Q stacks drop, so he can't finish me off with two E's. And here I just chase him. And he runs into mobs, so I'm able to finish him off. Here we're facing dual swords. Start off aggressive with EQ. Use my W to block his E damage and reflect. And when you use Miss Walker Jacket, uh, Mercenary Jacket, I use Miss Walker Jacket. I should have used it a little sooner, but that's okay. You want to keep the damage up and use reflecting spin whenever you can. Chase with sprint, get a nice E off. 
Nice kill. Okay, we have another dual swords matchup. So start off aggressive. Use my W to block it to reflect his Q, Thefford, Cape, and W, which is really good. And since I use my Mistwalker jacket already, when he mercenary jackets, I, I want to make space with my E. So I E away so he can't finish off his mercenary jacket. And even though he's healing from mercenary jacket, I'm still able to put in a lot of damage. So it doesn't really matter if you use Mistwalker jacket when they mercenary jacket. As long as your Mistwalker jacket stops them from having so much momentum. And it also gives your W time to come off cooldown. So here's a 5 staff matchup. I actually didn't play this one too well, so I'll talk about my mistakes here. So I went too close to him, and that let him get a free W off, which feared me. I also should have taken Miss Walker Jacket uh, instead of Inferno Shield. So that I can go through his Inferno Shield, uh, his Firewall, and also block it, dodge his E. <clears throat> It's always good to try and dodge their Qs in between your deflecting spin. And that was a bad Guardian Helmet. I didn't really need it. Nice deflect. I shouldn't have eat there because I should have known he had Firewall ready. And when it gets close, you can wait a little bit because my E is coming off cooldown in 3 seconds. Use my E to cancel his robe. And then now I just need to finish him with auto attack Q. It was a very close fight and I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, here's a much better example of how to play against Firestar. Nice Guardian Helmets. And Miss Void Jacket to dodge his entire E. Deflect his Qs. And I don't want to E yet because he has Hunter Hood. And then I use E to, do, uh, to cancel his entire E, so that's very good. Yeah, I use my deflecting spin against his fully charged E, so he takes a lot of damage. And I'm able to finish him off very easily. Alright, here we have a Great Hammer matchup. So against Great Hammer, it's actually okay to lose from the start of the fight. I wasted my Miss Walker jacket there. Good Guardian Helmets. And actually, I'm about to miss some cues here. But it's not a bad thing to start losing from the start because the thing with Great Hammer is if they lose the early stage of the fight, they'll just run away and reset, which is really annoying. So I use my health potion when I get low, which is fine. And I notice he's getting low on mana, so I just need to stall the fight out as much as possible. So I'm going to use my Guardian Helmets. My E is about to come off cooldown, so I'm going to E away to slow, slow it down. Use Miss Walker Jacket to slow him down and make sure he doesn't get value from his Soldier Armor. And he knows he is out of mana, so I'm just going to chase him here. Not even close. Alright, here we have Trinity Spear. So against Trinity Spear, Deflecting Spin is really good because you can Deflecting Spin their E. However, if they have Cleric Rope ready, and use deflecting spin, they'll just proc their cleric robe and then E, which is what he tries to do here. So I'm just gonna use Miss Walker Jacket. That way he gets no value from his cleric robe and no value from his E, and I'm able to chase him. And on his next E, I won't have Miss Walker Jacket, so I wanna use my deflecting spin against his next E. So I'm just slowing the fight down, so it's he, and then he's about to E, and deflecting spin. Very nice. Uh, this is Wildfire. So Wildfire E is actually pretty easy to dodge. If you have Sprint active, you can just run around. And if you are too close to him and you can't dodge it, just use Guardian Helmet right after and it will cleanse the, the true damage burn. 
So here I'm trying to stay close to him. So I'm getting a lot of good damage in. I'm winning the trade slightly and just keep chasing him, dodge some Qs. I shouldn't have went so close to him because it lets him get a free firewall into me. And here, I actually get really lucky and I E him when he E's and it cancels his E. I'm not sure why the audio is bugged here. Against Wildfire, you actually don't want to... It was a close fight and I made a lot of mistakes. Here's a matchup into Wildfire, dodges E. And he's using Q1, so it's better that I use Impaler, which lets me kite. So I use Gig Potion. I'm just gonna walk away during his Gig Potion and W him. So I'm able to do a lot of damage from a distance and stay out of his Q range as much as possible so he can't just spam his Q into me. Dodges E. Don't walk into the firewall and slow is nice. Nice cloak road, buddy. And an easy win. And that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed this spear guide. And if you have any questions about the build or about the matchups, just let me know in the comments. Also, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more guides.